what all should you do when you are in home quarantine once you are diagnosed to be covid positive knowing about the severity of disease and monitoring the severity of your disease is very important when you are in home quarantine how can you monitor the severity of your disease this can be done by two simple parameters the respiratory rate and your saturation levels what is respiratory rate it is the number of breaths that you take every minute and what is saturation saturation is the measure of the oxygen saturation in your tissue uh, using a simple equipment which is called pulse oximeter when you are in home quarantine you should clearly know what category of disease that you belong to because only mild cases are uh, are recommended to be in home quarantine this can be easily done if the correct procedure for measuring the breaths per minute is followed the patient can be made to lie on his or her back and the palm of your hand can be kept on the lower part of his or her chest count the number of times your uh, hand gets elevated and this gives you the number of breaths that the patient or the person is taking for the whole minute normally this ranges from 14 to 18 breaths per minute however when your respiratory rate is more than 24 per minute this means that you could go in for a moderate category of disease if the respiratory rate is more than 30 per minute this signifies a severe category of disease hand in hand with this you have to measure your oxygen saturations also oxygen saturation is effectively captured by a small and simple laser operated machine this can be attached to the tip of your fingers this is called pulse oximeter this gives you the value of your saturation on the screen as a percentage measure side by side you will you can also see your heart rate recorded as beats per minute both of these parameters are very important in determining the severity of your disease while examining for respiratory rate make sure that the patient or the person is not anxious or the person is not having high fever this is because anxiety or high fever can cause a false high recording of respiratory rate be mindful that when you are examining an anxious patient or a person for respiratory rate always divert their attention by having a quick chat with them and this would give a more accurate respiratory rate the normal oxygen saturation of your body ranges from 95 to 100 percentage if the saturation dips below 94 and is a value between 90 to 94 percentage you belong to a moderate category of disease and if it is less than 90 percentage this could be a severe category a severe category of disease once you measure oxygen saturation don't get alarmed if you encounter a single or one or two values less than 94 percentage there could be several reasons when the ox your pulse oximeter can record wrong values or false values like if your hands are wet or if your hands are perspiring or if your nails have a coating of nail polish if your hands are unduly cold in all these instances your pulse oximeter could record a wrong reading or a falsely low reading of saturation
so correct these instances in uh, uh, dry your hands properly remove nail polish and warm your hands before you uh, you examine before you record your oxygen saturations if repeated measurements are showing values below 94 percentage and this is accompanied by high respiratory rate more than 24 per minute along with other with or without other red flag signs like uh, trails of cough uh, unremitting fevers uh, chest pain shortness of breath or undue fatigue then you have to contact your near uh, your doctor immediately Continuation of home quarantine or hospitalization in these settings should be done only under, uh, under the advice of your doctor. One thing, is, uh, one thing to remember is that you should be mindful that these, these settings uh, of uh, low saturation may point towards a subsequent hospitalization and a subsequent increasing severity of disease. While monitoring for your saturation while in home quarantine, it, is, it, it would be a common it would be common to encounter multiple readings of borderline saturations like 94 percentage, 95 percentage, etc. In this situations, we often get confused and stressed. It would be worthwhile to do a six minute walk test in this situation what to uh, what you have to do is that to take a ba you have to take a baseline saturation level before starting to walk once the baseline saturation level is recorded walk continuously for 6 minutes at the end of 6 minutes check your saturation again it is common to have a mild dip in saturation but the dip would not be more than 3 percentage. For example, if the initial saturation was 98 percentage, after 6 minutes of walking, this can come up to 95 percentage but not less than 95 percentage. If your saturation remains borderline but a 6 minutes uh, a six minute walk test shows saturation, uh, a saturation fall of less than 3 percentage. You should not give room for undue worry. In these instances, you can assume certain positions which can optimize the oxygen delivery to the lung. This is popularly known as awake proning positions. What can be done is that initially the patient or person can be made to lie on their back for 30 minutes and for the next 30 minutes to lie on their sides. Once this is over, they can be my made to lie on their belly for another 30 minutes. This will help to optimize the oxygen, the air flow to the posterior aspects of the lung which remains sparsely ventilated during a normal supine posture. When you are home quarantined with COVID, Always be mindful about the date of onset of your symptoms and the date of your COVID positivities. This is because if you are a case of mild COVID requiring home quarantine, you would require isolation for a total of 17 days starting from the day of symptom onset, which may or may not be same as the day of positivity. Also, be mindful of your comorbidities. The existing illness that you have will have to be optimally treated while you are in home quarantine. This is because several of these illnesses including diabetes which is high blood sugars, high blood pressures, heart disease, diseases pertaining to the liver diseases pertaining to kidneys and diseases needing steroids and immunosuppressive medications all these in all these cases 
there is a tendency for people to contract uh, more severe categories of COVID infection. These individuals will require closer monitoring at home and also frequent communication with their doctor while they are in home quarantine. Nevertheless, do not forget to make your mind happy by engaging in things which you are interested in. Eat healthy food and eat food which are fortified with vitamin C, vitamin D and other immuno boosters. Remain happy and always take care of yourself and your family during COVID times. Thank you.